The goal of this video is to go over setup associated with compute initial potentials. This function takes C uh, as input, which is a data structure, and returns another data structure P. So let us investigate what this input C looks like and uh, what we have to return. To do that, let's uh, load uh, the sample data. Uh, let's see what's up here. So this is where you have your sample uh, input and output. Let's uh, assign the input to a variable called C. Now uh, let's look at the C. So this C that we just, uh, this init potential dot input, that's the one that you need to pass uh, here as argument when, when you're testing. So the C has, it's a structure that contains three fields. One is nodes, the other one is edges, and finally factor list. So nodes is a cell array. And uh, so what is this? This one seven is the variables in the click tree. So it's in the node of the click tree. So same thing with tweet. So for example, actually, if you take a paper and pen and uh, try to um, draw this uh, click tree, uh, you will, for this sample data, you'll get the same click tree as the one in this PDF document right here. So for example, this one seven indicates that those are the variable numbers um, uh, in that. Uh, so this one seven is this, this guy right here. This node, this node. 2.8, similarly 2.8 is the one here, that's this. 3.9 um, is this. Now let's see how to actually access this cell array. Um, so C dot nodes, you have to use curly braces. So that'll give you one seven, the second one. So as you can see, there are nine things here, right? So um, so for example, if I want the ninth one, so there are basically nine nodes in this click tree. So three, 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 three times three is nine. So that's what that nodes are. Now, obviously a click tree also has edges uh, here. Uh, to represent that, you have this uh, edges matrix. And what this is, is um, it gives the connection between the nodes. So for example, this is first row, eighth column is one, that means uh, the nodes, so first row eight column, let's see what that is. Uh, for, so first node, um, so C dot nodes of, sorry. So this is a nine by nine matrix because we have nine clicks here. So you have a nine by nine matrix. And if you see a one here, which is the first row eight column, that means the node one and node eight are connected. So let's investigate what that uh, node one is. Sorry, you have to use C dot nodes and you have to use those curly braces. And eight would be that. So one, seven and one, two, three, because uh, if you look at C dot edges of uh, first row eight column that gives you a one. That means what the node one, uh, so this one is th this node one right here is, and this eight is this node eight right here. So that means this node and this node, they are connected. So let's look at that. So one, seven and one, two, three. So that is this one, seven and this one, two, three, they are connected. So that's why you have one uh, up in the edges uh, matrix in the first row and eighth column. And it's true in the opposite direction too. So if you go to first column and the eighth row, you'll see a one. Basically it's the same thing in the opposite direction, but uh, that's how this uh, matrix is set up. The last one is factor less. Uh, let's see what it has. 
Yeah, it contains 12 factors. So they've given you some factors, obviously. And uh, let's see what the first uh, uh, factor is, for example. So it's a variable one, cardinal d3 and the valves. Similarly, the second one, it's got where two, one, three, cardinal d3 by three, 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 and the values. Now here is one important thing to note, and I'll actually go over that in a bit. See, the, this, the way the, the ordering of these variables is really crucial, otherwise you will struggle with this uh, whole assignment. Um, so to actually, what I mean is, for example, let's say, so this fact, second factor here is 213, but for example, if I were to look at uh, some, one of the nodes here, C dot nodes, uh, I believe it's, let's see what it is, yeah. For example, this node, the way they define it, the order is in increasing order, one, two, and three, right here. Um, but here you have this order as two, one, three. So you need to actually rearrange all these uh, input factors um, so that they are in the numerically increasing order. Um, there is actually a note by um, our one of our fellow TA has posted a note here on the discussion forum. Make sure you read this entire thing; it's very important. So what he's saying here is the order of assignment of factors to clicks should happen in the order clicks are given to you. So order of assignment of factors to clicks should happen in the order clicks are given to you. So basically. Uh, and then, um, let, let's see, let, let me finish reading and then I'll go over this. Each factor should be assigned to first click that contains all the variables in the factor where ordering of clicks is given in C dot nodes. So basically all these variables should have um, one, uh, so there are two things that they're talking there. These variables have to be sorted in ascending order in factors, that's one. The other thing they are saying is, for example, they have provided two examples here. If the nodes one is one, two, and nodes two is two, three, we obviously have three factors here, factor one, factor two, factor three. So what they are saying is one and two should be assigned to the first uh, click that they run into, which is this guy. Even though two can be assigned to second click, for the purpose of this assignment, we are going to assign two to the first click that it contains. So that's the most uh, important thing. So um, he also actually posted uh, a helper function that will um, help us in uh, sorting these. Um, okay, um, let me do. Right. Um, sorry for that. Let me actually put put it in a notepad and use that. So let's take this. Um, paste it here. So this function, uh, let's see what it does. So if we take this uh, function here and let's see if we pass our c dot factor list of one. No, okay, so that's obviously there's only one variable so you can't really see. Let's take the second factor and see what it does. So if you look at the second factor after we pass it through this the helper function here, it arranged it in ascending order. So that's really the most very, very important. I, I can't tell you how many people struggled on this uh, originally. So th that's really very, very crucial. So make sure you rearrange your factors so that they're in this uh, order. Okay, so what's the end goal here? Um, so one of the things you want, you need to do here is, they have, obviously by now, you know, this is a click tree. So the, using the C dot nodes and C dot edges, you created this little click tree right here, same as the one in PDF. Again, if you need more uh, clarity, it's good to actually write it on a paper and go through this uh, sample input. So once you create this click tree using the nodes and edges, you're also given this factor list. So what you have to do is uh, the factor list, um, uh, you know, just like this, uh, like this C dot factor list we've been uh, working on. So. The right uh, factor so the, th this is this factor list we're talking about now what I did was I actually put them in a word doc so that uh, it's easy for us to go through that you have to take these factors right here 
and uh, dump them in these buckets here, in these uh, uh, little uh, click nodes, right? So you go through these and then say, okay, one. Um, so you go through the nodes and say the first uh, unit to assign, for example, uh, let's say, what is this? C dot, C dot nodes of one is one seven, for example, right? So your first factor, let's say, is one, so the, it would get into this uh, uh, one seven right here, right? Um, and similarly, uh, you would, uh, so this one, after sorting, obviously, it became one, two, three. So that would go to the first thing that it will uh, hit is uh, this guy right here, this one, two, three. And you need to drop that, uh, so, um, drop that factor into this uh, little click node. So once you do this, um, each click node will have a set of factors. Um, it could be one or it could be more than one or it could be empty. So there is actually a very, I'll get back to that uh, note on empty uh, factor list. But once you have all these factors in these uh, click nodes, you would use factor product uh, to compute the uh, potential, the initial potentials. Now this uh, empty thing I was telling you about, that's really important, that's also right here. It says, it is possible that you may end up with clicks with no factors assigned to them. If that's the case, set the initial potential to one for all variable assignments for that click. It's very important. All these things right here are super, super important. All right. Okay, so we just did that. There are a few other things I actually would like to go over. Um, that, um, so the first thing is obviously some functions that would be useful and they are find uh, unique set diff is empty. Um, now, uh, originally I actually had submit.m. Uh, the reason is that, remember we saw that uh, uh, rearranging the factors uh, using the reorder factor variables. The submit.m also has a similar function, um, but uh, actually I just uh, realized that, uh, that that's written in the vals uh, uh, as a column vector as opposed to the row vector, which is what you're being used to. So, um, so anyway, use the helper method that um, that actually we uh, discuss here, the reorder factor variables. And then, uh, what are the other things? So, uh, yeah, this last thing right here, I, I would actually like to show some uh, things with that. Um, so if you have, uh, so, so if, if I just have a factor list like that, right? Um, C dot factor list. If I do that, yeah, you get. Okay, where is this? C dot factor list. If I do that, obviously you see all the scroll factors. Okay, then let's say I want all the variables out of this factor list for the variables for all the factors. So, well, let's say I do this, but then uh, it's not really in convenient matrix form for you, right? Okay, maybe then let's do do this, which is basically indicating all factors in the list. It'll still give you the same thing like above. But here's the cool part. Now, if you put these square brackets around, it becomes a matrix and it gives you this nice little thing. And then you can do operations like unique on it or, you know, and so on and so forth. Good luck and thank you.